Welcome on down, my fellow dozzlers and new players. I like to another meme tutorial. Russell Joseph here bringing you this time a meme controller tutorial setup guide thingy for dual stick games. Yes, we're doing twin stick shooters today. And so these aren't really too tricky to set up. Uh, the main problem is going to be just getting a system that works for you, basically. The thing with twin stick shooters is, as the name implies, this is a game that would, in the original arcade release, use two joysticks. So something like Robotron 2024, something like um, uh, Robotron 2024, Smash TV, Total Carnage, games of that nature. Now, uh, if you don't have a controller or a arcade setup that has two sticks, um, you would have to use a keyboard, which is kind of weird. Uh, I'll pop into a game real quick and I'll show you what I mean by that. Personally, I like to use my handy dandy Xbox One uh, Afterglow controller. I just got paid five dollars to say it. I'm just kidding. No, no, I don't know. We, we don't have sponsorships with Afterglow as of this video. <laughs> but I like using that. I, I'm more comfortable with using that because I like the dual the, the twin sticks on there. I don't actually have uh, two arcade sticks to use because just one, the tank stick is expensive and we just don't have space for it. So let's go ahead and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll show you around with uh, what I mean by using one of my favorite games, which is Robotron 2084. All right, so we got the game going here. So uh, what I mean by that is, so when you when you use a, a dual stick shooting game, you'll notice that there is controls for fire up, fire down, fire left, fire right, move up, move down, move left, move right. It's not just like, uh, it's not like with some other games where it might be like X axis, Y axis, that kind of thing. Um, so that means also the left stick is fire and the right stick is movement. Now, if you wanna change that to something you like, of course, you're more than welcome to swap the sticks. So, like, what I mean by keyboard, for example, like, I would have to do something like this. So you end up with this, like, really weird thing where it's like, you have to... This is also really weird because WASD is usually my movement, not my firing. Now you could theoretically do this with a single joystick as there are most configurations are gonna give you at least six buttons. So you could set up this really weird Maverick thing, but let's go ahead and uh, just get this guy killed off here. Let's go ahead and set it up with the um, controller that I have here. Now, as a reminder, uh, before you fire up MAME, always have whatever controllers you're going to be using plugged in because um, it's just MAME is like it won't read any controllers you plug in after you power it up, after you get the emulator started. So let's go ahead and get this configured here. Okay, it's been a while since I've actually done this, so I'm a little... Oh wait, my controls aren't set up right. No, they are. Okay, it's just... Actually, I think I had these set up differently. This is what I mean when it's like, oh... When I, when I say you can set it up however you like. You can say I'm not doing too hot, because... I think I know what it is. I think it's, uh... So let's go ahead and change that around. There we go. Okay, this, this, this feels like it's it. But that's the cool thing about MAME, is that you can, you can, you can configure things however you want. I mean, let's say you do, like, you're just better at using the, the keyboard and... Or maybe you do some really weird thing where you, like, somehow you use the mouse, like... That's what I like about MAME, is it's, it's so... You can just get creative with the controls and, and do whatever works for you. That's just my personal recommendation. And just a heads up, too, to anybody playing uh, these kind of twin stick games. So I had a comment the other day where somebody was trying to do the controls for Robotron, and, like, they, they didn't... They had, like, not understood that it's a twin stick shooter game. So they needed two sticks, so to speak, to play the game with. But here you go. By the way, if you ever play the Gauntlet remake, this is basically the controls it uses for Quest of the Elf, because it 
does things different than that. And that, but that, that, that's pretty much it, right? That's essentially how you set up Twin Sticks for a game. Um, so it's gonna be things like, again, Smash TV, Total Carnage, Robotron. I don't, I can't name other Twin Stick shooters off the top of my head, but. All right, so like that's gonna be games like I, I got a short list here like Robotron, Crazy Climber One and Two, Hook and Dagger, Fire Trap, Rock Climber, Crawl. That's that's a few that I found uh, just doing some quick research. So yeah, those are gonna be twin stick shooter games. Those are games that are only gonna be using um, your sticks. And before you think about it, no, Akari Warriors is not a twin stick shooter game. One of my friends asked me that the other day. They're like, Razzle, I'm trying to play Akari Warriors, but isn't that a twin stick shooter game? No, Akari Warriors had a twisting joystick and. We'll get to that. Akari Warriors is going to be a game where I will do a specific video on it to kind of go over what control scheme I have in mind. But that will be for another time. That being said, my name is Joshua Joestar. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, if you want to help support the channel, subscribing and becoming part of my community of Dazzler Razzlers is always great. We also have the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever we put out new gameplay videos, new tutorials, new whatever we have cooking. It's a whole barbecue down here of things that we're randomly throwing out. Uh, we also have ways to monetarily support the channel. We got PayPal.me for a one-time donation. We got Patreon doing things like liking the video and leaving a comment. And we do actually read comments too. We do read and try to respond to comments as well, sharing the video with people. And uh, we also have our super cool affiliate with TubeBuddy. In fact, this video is most likely brought to you by TubeBuddy, which is a really super cool tool for fellow YouTube creators. If you're wondering how to get the edge over things like, say, keywords and SEO, TubeBuddy is your man. In fact, a lot of our videos were probably brought to the people because we use TubeBuddy's tools to find the right keywords and stuff to get that to people because you gotta do more on YouTube if you wanna get your videos found and just make good videos. That being said again, my name is Russell Joestar. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you around.